her own effort that moves exceptionally well. She just wows you when she walks in. And she just a little bit more effort all the way through today. She's a bit longer through the head and neck today. She just a little, a little you get behind her, she's a little more midsection, just more heifer all the way through. But her second, third heifer is younger pair of heifers in the class. They're both due to have uh, this fall, certainly in their own right. They're tremendous dairy heifers. They're clean cut heifers. But the second heifer today, when you get behind, she tracks a little bit nicer than the big rangy heifer coming along in third. Our third place heifer today just has the advantage over our fourth one being having a little more rear flank today. She's a little cleaner and flatter down through the hock, but certainly a big black heifer. You really have to admire her uphill run, her tremendous frame that she has, her length and stretch from hooks to pins. But she's just a wee bit cleaner all the way through today than the heifer following in fifth. Our fifth place heifer, another beautiful frame heifer. She's got that strength and power that you're looking for, a tremendous legged heifer. And for me, she's just a little bit more style all the way through. She's a bit fuller in her crops. She blends a little nicer from neck to shoulder and shoulder to barrel than the extreme dairy angular heifer following in six. Yeah. All right. How are we doing time-wise? 20 after 